welcome back to our kitchen and another episode of the Keto Mystery Box Challenge. Six. I think it's episode six. six. And who is providing the ingredients today? Okay, so I picked one from one of the YouTube comments and yep. it was Jane. So thank you for the suggestion, Jane. If you are kind to me. I think you'll be fine with this one. Okay. So good. I'm going to show you the ingredients that she picked. Okay, here we have our... Mystery, mystery bag. <laughs> mystery bag. Yeah. Mystery bag challenge. There's a lot of veg in this one. Okay. It's not, not, there is protein. Uh, there is protein. <laughs> there is protein. <laughs> I was like, no, I got a vegan one. Okay. <laughs> zucchini. I don't think we've done anything with zucchini in the mystery box okay. yet. Specifically red capsicums was the mm -hmm. suggestion. It's my favourite capsicum, so I'm happy. Your favourite, which Ooh. we have had an appearance of before, coriander. Yeah. French shallots, which Erica also really, really likes. So not the green shallots, but they're kind of like a small onion and they're probably like a little bit sweeter, would you say? Mm -hmm. And the protein, beef mints. Okay. So they're your ingredients. Good luck. Okay, so this is what I'm working with today. Some coriander or cilantro for our US friends, some um, like minced beef or ground beef, red capsicums or peppers. <laughs> this is quite funny, everything else we call different in Australia. Um, zucchinis, courgettes from my UK friends. Um, and these, what we call French shallots or echelots, they're like a small onion and it's kind of, I reckon, like a cross between an onion and garlic maybe. Yeah, definitely I don't find them as kind of astringent as onion. So what am I going to do? So first of all, thank you, Jane. I'm very happy with this little set of ingredients. This would be something that I would have in the fridge and be like, what are we gonna have for dinner? So off the top of my head, just cause there's coriander and there's mince, that leads me down a taco mince kind of vibe. I know I've done the taco lettuce cups before but what might be nice is a stuffed capsicum um, so what I might do is kind of probably just dice up these shallots the same as I would an onion and I might just kind of grate up the zucchini and kind of just cook that down with the mince you probably won't even really know it's in there and we'll season it up um, and we'll see how we go stuffing the capsicums because that could be good. Okay, so I just diced up the French shallots and I grated one of the zucchinis. And I've just been heating up a pan. I put a bit of ghee in it from one of my pantry items, but you could use whatever kind of cooking fat you have. Um, so I'm just gonna probably cook off the shallots, add the mints and the zucchini and just break it all up and cook it till it's browned. So I just have my mince, my French shallots and my grated zucchini cooking away here. So I'm just gonna cook it down till kind of all the liquid evaporates and the zucchini really cooks down. So you kind of just let that cook away for a while. Now to flavor this, I'm actually gonna use Another of my pantry items, which is this brand new spicy, well it's not new, but you can get it at Coles now, which is awesome because we have a Coles just around the corner. Um, so we picked this up last time we were there and I haven't used it yet. So it's a spicy Mexican seasoning from Mingle. So if you're not familiar with Mingle seasonings, they don't use any like fillers or sugars or you know wheat or anything in their seasoning mixes it's all just spices so that is awesome and so good that you can get this in coals now there was um, two other flavors as well but I think I'm going to use spicy Mexican to spice up my mince so once this is cooked down a bit I'm going to add some of this seasoning and then not sure what, what else we want to add to it before we pop it in the caps can, but I'm going to have a think about that. Okay, so our mince is looking pretty good. So I've added some of this spicy Mexican seasoning and I also just added 
some salt, um, but I'm pretty happy with how that tastes. So I'm just going to leave it to cool down a bit. So I also just chopped up some of the coriander, which was another one of my mystery box ingredients, and I've turned on the oven. Um, and I've just been having to think about what else to kind of put in the capsicum, because I guess normally when I've done a stuffed capsicum before, I've put cheese or cream cheese or something like that in it. Now we're not having dairy at the moment, and obviously that was not given to me in my mystery box. But I think I might put some egg in it, which is one of my pantry items. I think that'll kind of hold it, like, you know, kind of bind it together a bit and it'll set rather than just having mince inside of there. So I just kind of want the mince to cool down a bit and then I might stir through the beaten egg and coriander and pop it inside the capsicums. Now with the capsicums, I guess there's a couple of ways of doing it. So you could just kind of cut off the top part and then fill the whole capsicum that way. But I think what I might do is kind of cut it in half this way. I'll keep the stalk on there because I want that to kind of hold the shape, but then I'll end up with kind of two halves that I can fill. So let's give it a go. So I just cut it in half lengthways and then I just used a spoon to kind of scrape out all of the kind of white rib parts on the inside and the seeds and as much as you know kind of this part of the stalk as you can but I think it's best to leave the stalk on there so that it holds it together while you're cooking it because they will kind of soften a bit um, and then just not you know just don't eat that part well you can if you like but I can't imagine it's very pleasant but yeah so I'm just going to do that with all of my halves and then I'll get, line them up on a tray ready to be filled okay so i've just got my capsicums on a lined kind of oven tray ready to be filled i mean they're not going to have a massive amount of filling in them um so i'll probably have some left over and i've just got four eggs here which is one of my pantry staples and i'm going to beat these up and then once the mince has cooled down a bit i'll add the coriander and the eggs and kind of stir it through. Um, I don't want it to be super eggy, but I think just a bit of something rather than just the plain mince. Um, so we'll see how we go with four eggs. Okay, so that's with the four eggs, the four beaten eggs mixture. And I'm really happy with that texture because it's just given it a bit of something, but it's not like super eggy and runny. So now I'm going to try and spoon this mixture into the capsicums. So I'm pretty happy with how they've turned out. I really tried to make sure I kind of packed it into all the little crevices. Um, so I'm just going to pop these into the oven now. I don't know how long they're going to take. I'm guessing at least half an hour. So I'll just pop them in and see how they go. Now, there was some of the mince mixture left over. Obviously, if you had more capsicums, you could stuff them. But I'm actually just going to bake it in this dish. Um, and then that would be a good thing for Dan to take for lunch. Like, just take some avocado or some salad or something with it. Um, so that will be a good kind of work pack lunch for Dan. But I'm just going to pop all this in the oven and we'll see how long it takes. So I've just pulled out this little leftover one um, that was about 15 minutes and I think that that's done I was just really I guess cooking the egg because everything else was cooked but I think that actually looks pretty good and I think Dan will be happy with that <laughs> for lunch one day next week it's been half an hour so let's get these bad boys out and see what we think Smells good. I mean, some of the little bit of the egg mixture came out, but I'm not too worried about that. I think they look cooked. So let's get one ready for Dan to try. So this is our little stuffed capsicum all out of the oven and ready for Dan to try. Let's go and see what she thinks I might have made. Hi. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> I've been doing trivia. It takes a long time. So what do I think you made? I really have 
no clue. Like maybe you could have done like a, almost like a veggie stack with the hamburger patty on the bottom or Ooh. something. Like with the capsicums and the zucchinis mm -hmm. and then um, like some coriander on top. I forget what the other ingredients were. Um, what was the other ingredient? It was mint. Oh, shallots. Oh, yes. You could probably put that in the burger. I don't know what you've made. Wow. Stuffed capsicum with no cheese. <laughs> yes, with no cheese. So while you give it a try, I'll just recap. So the ingredients that we had was mince, capsicum, zucchini, French shallots, and coriander. And then from the pantry, I used some Mexican, the mingle Mexican seasoning, some eggs, and um, just a bit of ghee to cook it in. So. What do you think? It's very hot. <laughs> it's very yeah. hot, yeah, sorry. Straight out of the oven. But that is delicious. I mean, we haven't had breakfast yet. This is our first meal of the day. And you could totally have this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, right? Mm -hmm. This is... What's the egg like in it? Because I wasn't sure about that. Delicious. You miss the cheese? Mm, no. <laughs> so that was episode six of the Mystery Box Challenge done. Another clean and simple approved one as well so thanks so much to jane for the suggestion i think that turned out really well really delicious <laughs> so guys remember if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up so we keep doing videos like this subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching bye, bye.